hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to create this glass slideshow animation inside head film express um, so to get started open up head film express uh, i'll be using these two images for this tutorial uh, you can use images or videos as well um, so we're going to start off by creating a new composite chart i'm going to rename this to main and the duration for this will be one minute and 30 seconds uh, frame rate is 30 and click on ok I'm going to drag in my first image like that. Just simply drag it. If it's too big, you can just scale it down inside the transform section. But this is just perfect for this resolution. Then I'll just right click on this image and click on make composite chart. And I'll just rename this to class. Click on OK. I'll just right click on this image once more. And I'm going to click on make composite chart. I'm going to rename this to blur. Okay, and click on OK and uh, again right click on your image click on make composite chart and this will be our image placeholder and click on ok then we are going to go inside our blur composite chart right click on it and click on new layer and then add a new grade layer and when go to effects and uh, search for blur effect and apply it on this grade layer Going to expand the blur and set the radius to around five or six pixels and i'm also going to create a new plane layer and uh, click on ok then in the effects i'm going to search for the gradient effect color gradient apply it on this new plane layer expand the gradient i'm going to set the blend to normal and i want the opacity to be 100 i want the black to be at the bottom and white to be at the top Okay, then we also want to increase the ramp scatter a bit. So let's just uh, keep that to around 40. Something like that. And then we just want to go inside the transform of this plane layer and set the opacity to 20%. So this uh, you'll end up with something like this. Then we're going to go inside our image placeholder layer. And we can apply some effects on this placeholder. So the first effect, or we can just... Um, what we can do is we can just apply the effects on the image placeholder itself so we don't have to again repeat the process whenever we want to drag in or use in a different image so let's just uh, go inside the blur comp and uh, i'm going to uh, search for an effect called um, brightness and contrast applied on this layer the image placeholder composite chart i'm going to increase the contrast a bit so i'm going to set this to around 30 you might want to play around with that value depending on the image that you're using i'm also going to search for an effect called hue saturation and lightness applied on this layer again and i want to go to the master section and increase the saturation a bit around 40. all right then what we can do is uh, we can then go inside the class composite chart in the class comp uh, we want to search for an effect called drop shadow apply it on this blur composite chart and expand the drop shadow and set the angle to 90 set the distance to 12 i'm going to leave the opacity as it is um, i'm going to change the number of value to 80 all right so then uh, you won't be able to see anything let's just uh, create a mask so make sure your blur composite layer is selected select the rectangular mask tool and just create a mask like this and now with the freehand tool freehand mask tool we can just select one of these corners so let's just um, select this one and just drag it out to the right a bit like that and i want to create a simple animation so i'll just expand the mask or transform and create a position keyframe I'm going to move to 16th frame. You can check it right over here. I'm at the 16th frame. I want to change the position and just move it somewhere over there. All right. Um, and we can just move to, let's zoom into the timeline. And now we can move to 4 second. And I want to keep on animating. So I'll just move the position or change the position to the left slightly so it just keeps on animating to the left like that and i'm going to select these keyframes and convert the keyframes to manual bezier 
all right so um, before we do anything further let's just drag in our image placeholder and just drag it and put it under our blur comp so uh, this is what we have so far you can see that this nice um, glossy animation on on this image also what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the blur composite chart I'm going to scale this up to 110 and change its position just to make it look like uh, it's being magnified all right then we can continue with the mask uh, inside the transform we have all these keyframes then after the keyframe which is at four second I'm going to move to 15th frame and I'm going to copy and paste these two keyframes then let's move to nine second and again I'm going to change this position to the left so now if we just make sure that this last keyframe is also manual bezier now if you play this this is what we have so far all right so they all these keyframes in the middle are there to make a transition to another slide or another image uh, and then it's going to keep on you know animating to the left all right that's cool so we can just duplicate this composite shot and i'm going to get rid of the mask completely and let's uh create a new rectangular mask on this so make sure this layer is selected select the rectangular mask tool and just create your rectangle shape and uh, want to create uh, use the freehand mask tool and create a similar sort of mask uh, maybe we'll do it this time we'll do it on the opposite side like that and we can just extend this a bit to the right as well and let's go to the transform change the position make sure it's covered at the first frame and we can create a position keyframe move to 16th frame and change its position like so and now we can move to four second keep on animating it make sure these two keyframes are manual bezier then we can move to move forward 15 frames and we can just copy these two keyframes and paste them after these keyframes and let's go to ninth nine second and just again keep on animating the position like that so again we'll have something like this um, we can create one more so we can just duplicate this again delete the mask select the layer and create the rectangular mask on this this time i want the mask to be big so if i go to transform and rotate this uh, let's do 40 so we can see that our mask is not big enough so we can just scale this up make sure it fits the size of this comp and now we can create a position keyframe move forward 16 frames and uh, change its position you can use the selection tool and just change the position like that okay and we can move to four second keep on changing the position make sure these two are manual bezier keyframes then we can move to 15 frame 15 frames forward and it's copy and paste these keyframes move to nine second and again keep on animating it we can also what we can also do is we can go to our image placeholder comp and uh, create a scale keyframe let's move to maybe 10 seconds should be good enough and i'm going to increase the scale to one one two now what we can also do is we can just go to the glass comp and uh, we can delete this uh, layer which is at the bottom image placeholder this is just for the reference we can just go ahead and delete this go back to main uh, you can just drag in your image placeholder under this class comp and now you can see we'll have this nice uh, class animation now we want to make a transition right at this point so at four seconds and 14 frame we want to make a transition to another image so let's just do that so we didn't we need to go to image placeholder and drag in your second image put it at the top and just move it at that point so four second so i can just type it type it in right here four second and 
what was that 14 frames and you can just put this layer right over there and to create a smooth transition we can also or transform and create a simple uh, crossfade animation so I can set the opacity to zero and move 10 frames forward and set this to 100 so now if you take a look this is what we have so far all right so that is looking great finally you can what you can do is we can also add some text so let's just create a new text layer and I'm going to call this slideshow we can type in anything so I'll just type in slideshow we can pick any font increase the font size and just place it anywhere that you want so let's just place it right over here we can split it and uh, we can just change uh, the layer positioning and on the second text layer we can replace it with anything else so slideshow animation uh, we can also change its position as well maybe somewhere over here and also we can just create a simple fade effect on the text as well so create an opacity keyframe set this to zero move 10 frames forward and set this back to 100 so now if we take a look at our final result so it's going to look something like this so that is how you can create this uh, simple slideshow a glass slideshow animation inside hit film so yeah thank you for watching this video if this video was helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one